All right, President Trump's got to pass a budget, then he's going to be pushing forward on his agenda to attack it, tax reform passed, first time since the 80s. And it'll begin tonight, really. He's hosting a bipartisan working dinner with six senators, three Republicans and three Democrats. This barely a week after reaching across the aisle to make a deal with Democrats named Senator Chuck Schumer and Senator Nancy Pelosi, or Chuck and Nancy, how the president referred to them. Here to react is GOP Iowa Senator uh, Joni Ernst. And Senator Ernst, some Republicans are being, have a, are anxiety anxiety ridden because the president reached across the aisle on the debt deal. Are you one of them? I don't have anxiety over that. I think tax reform is a must do. And if we are in the chair steering that conversation, I'm okay with that. But you are in power. You have the majority in both houses and a Republican president. Are you okay with him saying, hey, Democrats, what do you want? Well, I am okay with that. Again, as long as we are steering that conversation, we need to see something done with tax reform. I don't want to see another situation where we fail to get our policies across the finish line. So if it takes a, a couple more moderate members of the Democratic Party joining us in this effort, I'm happy to have them along. All right, you're introducing legislation to roll back some of the perks that former presidents get, right. including office space, uh, staff salaries and cell phones. As of now, President Obama gets nearly a million dollars on your dime. President Bush as well. You have Jimmy Carter getting about $456,000. You think we for, went through a period in our country where ex-presidents were going broke. You think we've overcompensated? I think we have. Um, what we see now is a situation where our former presidents have book deals, they have speaking engagements, and they are um, paid quite uh, liberally in, in those areas. And the American taxpayer shouldn't be subsidizing for these personal office spaces. and. Uh, it's time we do something about that. So Congressman Jody Heiss of Georgia and I have reintroduced this bill this year and we are very hopeful to get it over the finish line. What we want to do is cap what our pres former presidents are able to receive. All right, uh, Senator, I want to bring something else up because you served in the military. General, Ma uh, General Kelly has turned the page. He's now chief of staff. He was called a disgrace to his uniform by Democratic Congressman Gutierrez for allowing the president to uh, say DACA's got six, uh, the DACA reform has six months to work itself out in Congress, not extending it wholeheartedly. What's your reaction? Do you look at John Kelly as a disgrace to the uniform? Absolutely not. I look at General John Kelly and I have the greatest admiration and respect for him. He has served honorably in our country's uniform services. Um, certainly his family has seen great sacrifice with the loss of his son. Uh, but he continues to serve our great country in a number of ways and, and currently now as the chief of staff right. for President Trump. I think he's a great man. I'm glad he is where he is. Congressman Gutierrez, do you think he owes uh, the chief of staff, General Kelly, an apology? I absolutely do. I absolutely do. He is no disgrace to the uniform. Again, great admiration and respect for the general. You're doing something, another thing fantastic. You're starting a global, fun, uh, global memorial for the war for those who fight and sacrifice in the war on terror. Correct. The president just signed this act into law. It is a memorial foundation for the global war on terror, and it is a private foundation that has been established. And at some point in the near future, we do hope to see a memorial to all those families that sacrificed, all those service members that sacrificed for the global war on terror. As we look back at 16 years since the 9-11 attacks, yes. it's a fantastic cause. Senator, thanks so much. I hope to see you soon. Absolutely. Thanks, Brian. Have a wonderful day. You too.